let's be honest. It can be quite frustrating and overwhelming to see all of these buttons in the Excel home ribbon alone. So in this video, let's take a closer look at home ribbon. I'm also going to reveal some of the most powerful and time saving buttons of home ribbon. Let's go. The home ribbon in Excel is probably the most important one. It keeps all of the useful things in one place so that you can quickly get things done. Let's say you have some data here and you want to do some quick formatting. You can use the font and alignment areas to apply the formatting and you can also use the number area to apply the number formatting. Many of the buttons on the home ribbon as well as other ribbons have this arrow next to them. And when you use that arrow button, you will be able to access additional features out there. Let's apply some color inside this sum data heading. And let's select all of these numbers and apply them currency formatting. To do that, we'll select the numbers and using the number formatting area here, you can click on the currency symbol directly or you can expand this out and apply the currency formatting from here. Let's say you want to apply the currency formatting, but in your own currency. So not the dollar, maybe pounds, euros or rupees. You can go to more number formats and from here select currency and change the symbol to whatever you want. Let's say you have more data here and you want this data to look exactly like that. One quick way to do that is instead of doing all the steps again, you can select the source data and click on the format painter button and select the target area. This will keep the target area as it is, but apply the source formatting over. So format painter is one of those powerful time saving features that you can use to copy the formatting from one set of items to another set of items. Now let's talk about copy pasting a bit more. Let's say I want to take this copy, but I just want to paste the values, not everything. You can go to the area where you want to paste the values and use the arrow button on the paste and select the values option. In fact, this is one of the more common scenarios that Excel now has a built in shortcut for it. Control shift V. You can also see the paste special options when you right click here. And from there, you can select the option that you want. Many of the ribbon areas in Excel also feature this little expand button at the bottom corner. When you click on that, for example, for the clipboard, it's going to show you Excel's built in clipboard using which you can collect and maintain the values. So, for example, I want to copy this value. I'll select and press Ctrl C. You'll see that now four pounds is in my clipboard. Next, I'll copy nine pounds, 12 pounds and 15 pounds. So now all these values are here. I can go elsewhere, maybe a separate sheet and then just say paste all and all those four values will be pasted in one go. Likewise, click on these expand buttons to see what they pop up. Now let's go a little bit more into the alignment area here. Let's say you like this heading, but you want the sum data to show up in an inclined fashion. Just select the cell and using this option orientation here, you can set it in either angle, counterclockwise or clockwise. When you do that, automatically the text in that will be rotated and even the fill area and the borders will be rotated. Kind of makes it look fancy. To revert back, just go back and click on the same button again so that your data looks normal. The next button is probably the most important in all of this video and it is the like button. Unfortunately, Excel Home Ribbon doesn't have that, but YouTube does. So use the like button to tell me how much you are enjoying this video. You probably already know how to use merge and center. Just select these cells and hit on this so that the data gets merged into one cell. But Excel also offers other kinds of merges. You can see that there is merge across and unmerge options here. But my favorite is keeping the data in the center without merging the cells. To do that, you must first select these cells and click on this little arrow that expands out the alignment options for you. And from there, go to horizontal and from general, just select center across selection. What this does is whatever data you have in the very first cell will be centered across these four cells. But these four are separate cells. Notice how that looks compared to 
this merged cell here. In this case, these are not four cells. I cannot individually select any one cell. Whenever I click on it, I'm selecting all the four cells. Whereas with this one, I'm able to actually select my cells as well. So this is a better way for handling the data, especially if you want to filter or maintain it in a pivot. Two other buttons in Excel that gets used a lot and confuse everybody once in a while are the increase and decrease decimals. These two buttons help you increase the precision of the data. For example, if I want to reduce one zero from this decimal point, I would use this. And if I want to add one more zero, I would use that. By far the most powerful feature in the home ribbon has to be the conditional formatting button here. Using that, I can select a data and apply some rules on it so that data gets formatted whenever those rules are met. For example, I want to highlight all the cells that are above 10. I can go to conditional formatting, highlight greater than and type 10 pounds there and instantly those two values get highlighted. Remember, this is dynamic. So if I change my data and make this 14, instantly that gets highlighted. Likewise, if this were to become 9, then it no longer gets highlighted. You can use conditional formatting to do many powerful and cool things with your data, including adding a chart inside your data. How cool is that? I've got many other videos on the channel about conditional formatting. Check out the playlist that shows up on the card or in the video description for more. The next set of buttons here are to format your data as a table or apply individual cell styles. I normally don't use these buttons and instead I use the insert table feature which essentially does the same thing but applies tabular formatting for my data. For example, here I have got some HR data and I want to treat all of this as one giant table. I can select this data, any one cell will do and apply format as table and select the table formatting that I want. Excel instantly identifies all my data and gives me this create table message. When I click OK, I'll get table formatting applied on my data. Tables are really helpful for handling the data together and working on it for making pivot reports or writing formulas. We'll discuss tables more in a different video. The cell styles are helpful to identify various kinds of cells that you may use in a workbook. For example, you may want to apply specific formatting for all your calculation cells or all your notes or outputs. You'll need to individually select the cells and apply these formattings. The next set of buttons are helpful for inserting, deleting and formatting different things on this page. For example, if I want to add a column here, I can select the cell and then say insert, insert sheet columns and I'll have a column inserted in the middle. Likewise, I can use the delete button to either delete a cell, row or sheet column or even an entire worksheet. The format is helpful for applying various formats. Normally, I don't use these things individually. Instead, what I do is I right click what I want to do. So for example, if I want to add a column here, I'll right click and then I'll select insert. And then from here, I'll just either insert an entire column or a row. I'll do the same for deleting. Another useful button in the home ribbon is the auto sum button. You just have to select your data and hit on the auto sum to instantly introduce a sum at the bottom of your data. This is going to be written by Excel as a formula. So if your data changes and six becomes 16, your total is also automatically adjusted. One of the more powerful and fun features of the home ribbon is this fill button. It looks simple enough, but using the fill button, you can fill data in various ways. You already know some of these fill things by just typing the data. So for example, if I type numbers one and two, and I select them and then I drag them down, I'll be able to fill up as many numbers as I want. But what if I want to fill down 1000 numbers? To do that, just type one in a cell, go to fill and then select the series option. From here, change from row to column as you want to fill the values in the column and then step value as one and stop at 1000. When you click OK, you will get all the 1000 numbers in one go. Here is a handy trick. We can use this to fill up dates as well. I'm going to fill up 1 Jan 2024 in this cell and then go to fill series, select columns. And for my stop value, I want to stop this at 31 December 2024. So I'm just going to type that date here, 2024. And when you click OK, you're going to get all the dates of 2024 here in one go. 
Of course, those of you who are familiar with my channel might already know a more powerful way of doing this using the sequence function. We could say sequence 1000 and get all the numbers in one go. The clear button here is helpful for clearing various things. If you select a bunch of cells and just tap on clear, it's going to clear all values or you can even clear just the formatting contents or hyperlinks if you have some in your data. Let's clear this all. There are some very powerful and fun features in the sort and filter and find and select buttons as well. If you click on sort and filter, you should be able to find default sort options but there is also a custom sort option for this purpose let's go back to our hr data and let's go and do custom sort of this and i can now sort this by different levels so let's sort by gender and then within the gender by age when you click ok you're now going to get all the female employees up top and then within that by age and then you will have male employees again by age you can use the same button to apply filters or clear filters or reapply them as well. But normally if my data is already in a table, the filter button is available by default and I can also use that to apply filters. The last button is the find and select button and you can use this to find values in your Excel. One of the most powerful buttons in all of the home ribbon is the go to special button that is hidden inside the find and select button. Using go to special, you can go and find specific values in your data that meet criteria. For example, I'm going to go here and select all of this range. And now within this data, I want to find out all the blank cells. You can see that they're kind of all over the place. Once the data is selected, you can go to go to special. The shortcut F5 also helps for this. And from here, you can select blanks and when you click OK, Excel instantly identifies all the blank cells. This is a powerful way to identify blank items in a large chunk of data. You can see that GoToSpecial also lets you find various other things. For example, you can also find all the constants, all the formulas that have numbers, text or errors or even row and column differences. Very helpful. One of my absolute favorite features in the home ribbon is the select objects feature. This feature helps you select various items on the screen that are not cells. For this to work, let me first draw some shapes on the worksheet. Let's say in this sheet, if I want to now just select the rectangles and the circle, there is no easy way for me to select them because anytime I try to select, I'm selecting the cells. So this is where the select objects feature comes in handy. Once you tap, your mouse pointer changes to a regular cursor. You no longer have that plus button and you can just select the items on the screen and manipulate them. As I love this feature very much, I have actually added it to my quick access toolbar. That reminds me to add a particular feature to the quick access toolbar so that you can always access it is really simple. Just right click on the feature and use the add to quick access toolbar. You see that it is grayed out here because I've already added selection pane as well. That brings us to the last button on the screen, selection pane. When you click on that, it shows you all the objects on the page in a panel on the right hand side. You can also use this to instantly hide something if you don't want it to show up for your upcoming meeting. And depending on the version of Excel you use, you might see some additional buttons here like sensitivity labels or add-ons or copilot or any additional add-ons that you have installed. Let's say you like the home ribbon, but you find that it is just taking up too much space. Do you know that you can press Ctrl F1 to quickly collapse the ribbon? The ribbon won't take up screen space, but anytime you need it, you can just click on the ribbon button to expand it out. You can also hold down the Alt key briefly and press the H key to activate the home ribbon. You'll see that when you do that, Excel also shows you all the keyboard shortcuts right on the screen so that you can quickly press the relevant key to activate that particular feature. Now that you know how to use the home ribbon, you may want to expand your Excel skills. I got you. I'm giving away 50 Excel tips free ebook to all my subscribers. To get the ebook, all you have to do is head on to the link in the video description and sign up with your email address. I'll see you there. Bye.